20 miles per hour less than what we saw yesterday. This game is underway with a good fastball for a strike at 96 miles per hour from Chase Burns. Perfect first inning. Chase Burns has it, blows him away at 98 miles per hour, and the first inning comes to a close. Again, catching. Red to left for a base hit. Christian Moore just keeps on hitting. Him emerging as a complete hitter. Obviously, we talk about the juice and what he has, but you see this right here. He has the discipline to stay up in the middle part of the field, handle tough pitches, and take what the pitcher gives him. Pitch again. Ball four. Base is loaded for the balls. Two two. Got him swinging. Went back to the fastball. The 0 2. Got him swinging. Jacob Rutherford escapes the jam. 2 2. Got him looking. Went to the slider. That's another K for Queso. Burns with the 0 2. Base hits a right field. Eisenstadt with a single becomes the game's first base runner for Gonzaga. The left center long run for Dickey. In and out of the glove. Late break for Calmer. He's going to third. The throws in the second, and Sterling is aboard. Two in scoring position for the Bulldogs. Burns with another strikeout, thanks to the fastball. Another K for Queso. Into center for a base hit. The Bulldogs on the board. Eisenstadt scores, Sterling scores, and a second with a two-run double is Sam Canton, and Gonzaga's on top, 2-0. Yeah, Roger, you gotta be impressed with the Gonzaga lineup. They know what type of pitcher they're facing. They're being aggressive early. They're getting balls out over the plate to hit. They have a middle, they have an up-the-middle approach, and it's paying off for them right now. First pitch swinging, Sam Perry in the left center, and Dickey on the move, puts it away to close out Morgan this inning. In the Three straight strikeouts for Rutherford. Three, two again. And a walk. Second walk issued by Rutherford tonight. This line is first time up. Mounts to second. Pinales makes the short toss, and the inning is over. Took out his first time up. Down the right field line for a hit. Two out double for Apodaca. Last night, Gonzaga had a very tough time hitting with two outs. Got him swinging. Fastball at 97 again for Burns as he picks up his fourth strikeout today. Didn't play by the home plate umpire. Lead off walk starts the third. Deep down the right field line for a base hit. And a bounce up against the wall. Moore all the way home. Blake Burke to third RBI triple and Tennessee's on the board. Yep, Roger. They tried to go to the well one too many times. A third change up in a row. I'm curious to see if this is going to get challenged, though, because this ball one hop. The only reason it stayed in play is because it looked like it hit the foul pole. So I would think that they would review that, and yep, here it comes. And if this is the case, it's only going to be two bases. That's going to move more to third and Burke to second. Unfortunately for Tennessee's, you got the, the low-lying wall right there, which kind of hurts you in this situation. If it was normal size, it's a triple for sure, but I think this is going to go back. Overturn call. So the runner's going back to where they would be, more at third base, and then Burke at second. First pitch swinging. This is popped up. Palmer has made one nice play already today. Make it two. Runners have to stay put. Stroke tie to right center. Apodaca is there. With the grab, more tagging from third. Throw will be cut off, and Tennessee's on the board with a Griffin Merritt sacrifice fly to make it two to one in the third. Head high and deep going into left center field. But the grab made by Stim, and that'll close out the inning. Tennessee gets a run thanks to the sacrifice fly by Griffin Merritt. Came in over the last couple of years, and he's he's really trimmed up. Sterling. 
Got him swinging. Five strikeouts. A one, two. Give him six. Strikeouts for Jace Burns. Back to back case here in the fourth. Lifted high to left, but Jared Dickey's right there. Handing over. Right back up the middle, and a leadoff single for Kyle Booker starts the Tennessee fourth. You want to keep battling Rutherford. Obviously, he has good stuff. The more stuff you can make him throw and you can get him out of the game, the better situation it is for you. Well, he's his own best friend as he turns a 1-6-3 double play. Burns. So it's ripped up the middle for a base hit. Leadoff single for Gonzaga. Leadoff man on base, back-to-back -back innings. In the air to left. Dickey back has room, has time, and this inning is over. Once again, the leadoff man stranded on base. 2-2. Two -two. Up the middle, and Jared Dickey breaks through with his first hit of the series against Gonzaga, a leadoff single here in the fifth. 2-2. Two -two. Chopped to third. There's Calmer, but the throw goes to second. Everybody safe. Men on the corners for Tennessee. Swing and a miss there. The throw goes to second. The tag applied and the out. The strike him out, throw him out. Double play. Ezra Sim Perry. Now let's see two. Got him swinging. Taylor will record the put out and the inning is That's over. Okay for Jason. Two two. Foul tip and Sam Perry held on for the strikeout. Battle continues with Booker. over this season, Kyle Booker. I can't wait to see the exit velo off this bat. Rutherford has done such a good job keeping the fastball down in the zone. He tried to climb the ladder at 92. The quick hands of Booker on display sends a souvenir over the right center field wall for the Tennessee Falls. Sean. Rutherford trying to bounce back and in this inning looks like he will. Striking out Chambers, but it's Kyle Booker. Eight strikeout, Chase Burns. How about another K for Kaso? 2 2 game going to the seventh. Went around. Connell comes in and gets a strikeout. In the dugout, he puts his hand on his head. Wasn't sure what it hit. Connell off the mound. He's got it inning over. Solid work in the pit by Kirby Connell. It's stretch time at Lindsey Nelson Stadium. A walk to Jared Dickey. Go ahead, run on base. Four pitch walk, back to back walks. Two men aboard for Tennessee. Absolutely incredible. That's all I can say, guys. I mean, you just kind of had a feeling, didn't you, Roger? You see 2 low, and I mean, this guy, he can't miss at the moment. He got a hanging slider. Now Zane Denton drawing a walk right after that. Yeah, Roger, you ready for this? Tennessee seven and Gonzaga two.
Barrett's the X factor in this offense. You throw a ball out over the plate, you give him something to get extended on, he has no trouble leaving the yard. This is the guy right here. I think if he gets going. And Now pitch. Struck out swinging. Second out of the inning. Check swing on a ball low. Tag applied and the inning is over. Alverson with the one two. In the right center. Who wants it? Well, Moore can't get a glove on it. Pinales will be at second base. Off the glove of Halverson. There's Maui. Whoa! Maui Ahuna, welcome to Knoxville. And that hit him. Lead off man aboard for Tennessee. Dickey hits it on the ground. Good diving stop by Eisenstadt. Dickey is saved. Also, Chapman took third. Men on the corners for the Big Orange. Stays back on off speed, too. To center field, this one will stay in the yard. Apodaca is there. And the inning is over. It'd be like Henry Rowengardner throwing it back at the bleachers of Wrigley Field. Beam on the mound. Bounce to second. Ten wins in a row for Tennessee. A strong 72 win tonight against Gonzaga.